All right, I'm going to start recording. There, this is the clipboard we did yesterday. It has drop paper on the back. And let me pop out my chat real quick. I hate this thing sometimes. There it goes. And then on the front, I just wrap that drop cloth around and put a quote. And this is the photograph. And what we used yesterday was the Deco Art Deco Page Photo Transfer Medium. And what you have to do is you, and this is just scrapbook paper, you have to put it down wet on both pieces and put it together. So it feels really like glued down. I'm hoping that I didn't get too much of this on the back, but it says on here, brush or sponge water on the back and let sit for two to five minutes and use a soft cloth or fingers to gently rub away the paper layers. Let dry. Repeat the wetting process until all the paper has been removed. For added durability, also apply a top coat. So let's just... That water is beating up on there, so maybe it needs to soak. But it's starting to get in some of the paper right in here, I can see. I used um, like a baby wipe to get off the extra but it does not seem to really want to move using just like my finger yet but it may like I said it hasn't been two to five minutes hi Terry hi Kathy hi Carol hi Mac Denise, Iffy, Gina. Oh, now that one I just felt move. So I'm going to I felt some paper move. It's um, a ballet dancer but I think that one went down to the scrapbook paper. But I have a backup plan. Yeah, it's just not saturating, Terry. Like I said, when I did it yesterday, I was worried that too much of this maybe got on the top. It's just beating up and sitting on it. There's a few places... This is the part of it transfer like this that I don't like. It's, I really don't like peeling the paper. But I think this corner is starting to like I can but I think it's rubbed too far right there. I think that the patience of this no, it's not a National Geographic page. It's from like either a travel magazine We pop out the chat again. Yeah, I just, I don't like the peeling. It's probably why I don't do transfers very often. It's either a fashion magazine or a um, travel magazine that I cut it out of. But 
like I said, some of these places it's not saturating at all, but it might get up under. I'm starting to see her face. Maybe that's her leg. Maybe it didn't peel all the way down. But you definitely have to wait with this stuff. This is not, you know, quick. Because you have to let it sit for eight hours. Start to see the image of her underneath. Yeah, it didn't go down to the board. That's her leg. So just maybe a name, you know, patience. But I'll tell you, other than trying it out just to see how it worked, I could have just stuck the magazine image down. I don't know, maybe if it was a harder surface, surface. Now I will say that this, where I've gotten it, down to the picture, is pretty smooth. And it's not, um, like it's slick when you feel it. It's smooth like it's adhered. And I've got this pretty wet on the board. So I'm hoping where it, you know, the edges are, so that water will get under. thought the image would be more faded than it is, but it's not. I would say if I had to, when I did it again, that I would use less initially because like I said, when I cleaned it up, I do believe I got some of the photo transfer gel medium on the top that maybe weren't, wasn't, you know, wiped off completely, which might make it more difficult why it's resisting the water. But it is starting to soak through a little more in some places. It might be getting underneath.
yeah, this doesn't really have the... Well, I think I'm having to rub hard because it got gel medium on top of it. But it could be the quality of the magazine, too. Yeah, but it is working. Now, it's not a... It's not transparent. But I didn't remove all the background color. You know, it wasn't... Now there, it went down to the, that might have gone down to the paper. And I don't mind if I get some scratchy, if I can get her body part, mostly, to not have flaws in it, then I'd probably be happy with it. I thought it was going to be a little more um, washed out. Hi, Janet. Some of that pulp that's just sitting around. I'll try a baby wipe and see. The nice thing about using the baby wipe is it's not touching your finger, so it's not as raw on your finger. But I'm not sure you can tell if you're pushing, kind of like how hard, how hard you're pushing. It does seem to have come off for the most part. As one layer. Oh, that feels like that just tore. I almost think that this needs to sit more on the sides here like right in here it must not have had the gel medium because I have it quite a bit of water sitting on it I think some of these are the marks that were made with the gift card even possibly like ridges in the gel medium. I think sometimes the paper matters too, CB, like the quality of like how the fibers and the ink that they used. Like how the ink saturated the paper. But I can't say that it's worth the effort. Oh, too good. Uh, she could be dancing on a row of 
sheep or yak or whatever that is in the picture. Because some of this paper just doesn't want to move right now. Hey Jamie, I see you. How are you doing with the wall? Oh, is it raining today? We're getting rain, so I know y'all are going to get it worse again. We don't have flooding here. It's just all south of us. Is Jean going to go get food? Something to eat? I thought she said something about... Doing something. Yeah, I know. It's just... And it's supposed to rain through... Well, till Friday, at least, for sure. The other day when I streamed... Yeah, it's ours isn't like heavy, it's just steady all day. But the other day when I streamed, remember we heard that big clap of thunder and I got off and I was saving the video and uploading it to YouTube so that what maybe within 15 minutes the power was off. Yeah, that's right, Gene. I knew you were going to do something. I just couldn't remember what it was. Well, I will say, Jean, that this is coming out fairly well. It was real easy right here to get off, but I think this is partially my fault because I think I used too much when I put it on there. And I think I got some of this on the top of the photo, so I think it's sealed where it's making it harder for that water to get like up and under. So it's taking patience, which you know, like I said, I could have. Now I never would have got it glued down that on the magazine that smoothly adhered. But it does have a few places where the image is um, scratched, but not like anywhere important. Like her face is fine. Thank goodness you have a generator, Jamie. We would have been, if we were at your house, we'd have been powerless. We have friends that live in Granbury and they've been getting it super bad around us just the last couple days. So the scrapbook paper is wet in various places around on the clipboard.
Yeah, we had a, a generator when we lived out in the country. Um, but yeah, they're a good thing to have. Where people get snow too. Yeah. Well, this is really slow going, but it has pulled most of it off without damaging the photo for the most part, which in all the other attempts I've done, the photo has been damaged. No. You know, like a big hole torn in her face. Well, there's no coming back from that. Little bits of fiber that don't want to come off here and there. Yeah, the, the picture the main picture is good. It's just slow, very slow going. And I'm probably rushing it. I'm wondering if uh, warm water. Yeah. I finished spraying the TCU one. And I put on that little embellishment up on the corner and I sprayed it with the triple thick spray and it came out. I edged, I went around with the pit pins in purple on the edges and on the back I put in some drop shadows. So I got that one all done. And then I pulled some more papers to go with that. I'm going to let this sit. Get rid of some of this water. That's come off on the side, and I'll show you why that sits. I think just some of it needs to soak. Problem is the water drains to other areas. So I pulled some more for that. This one is giving me a hard time. So I pulled some more that I thought I might use. I thought that this might be interesting with it because of the pink and the flowers and the black of her hair. And then this could go with it instead of I don't think the green in these are right so I don't think I'm going to use those hibiscus. I definitely like all of this. 
together with her and I figured I can throw a little bit of this in just to put this rice paper on and then I still should be able to use some of this green I think so I'm thinking somehow that combination and then maybe paint the clipboard um, like a yellow even maybe would put some gold on it after it's dried to give it a little shimmer but I don't have um, the clipboard gessoed and shimmered yet you know which I'll have to do before but I think that will give me enough papers for her once I decided that and I would use this with it but then I found a couple others that I had put aside in my basket to do and never completed so I thought I'd work on those today I have three of them So, let's see, set that aside. Yeah, that's starting to, to soak through into more places. Like I said, it's getting the scrapbook paper really wet. Maybe we'll get wick underneath. I think I'll do this one first put some more water on that I think all of this is trimmed except for just a couple pieces Oh, did you get your new Keurig Jean? Did you make arrangements to send that other one back for them to pick it up? Is off where it's not trimmed all the way. Those are stickers, so they'll come off. I think I'll cover up that corner with some of the map. Give me a straight edge to put that down with and then I'll let it hang off there a little bit. In fact, I may tear it up just a little more. Because that won't matter because it'll be put 
Go to just pop the chat back out. All right. And I think that's going to go in there somewhere. The main thing I want to try to do when I'm doing this is remember to work in a little bit because people usually mat them and I don't, you don't really want, I don't really want all this. So need to think of it to be mad at. For those of you who just came in, we're waiting. We peeled some of the transfer back, the photo transfer. I'm just waiting for the water to soak in in some of the other places. and be patient. So if you see me, that's what I'm, I'm just sort of pulling it down and then I'll just keep spraying it, adding some water so it can kind of wick. It's up under the top layers is what it is really doing. And a lovely spray bottle. It lost its top, but it works just as well that way. All right. And then I'm just going to work on putting some of these together that I had laying around. They're just jelly prints that I like to embellish and then I usually list them in my Etsy store or sell them at arts and craft shows. Alright, so that's just a piece of map. And it's upside down, but I could do it that way. Not sure it will really matter in the end. Hey, Suzanne. Some of this is a telescoping, telescoping fly swatter. We were just talking about where ours went the other day. And then one of the cats likes to get the flies. And I was like, we have one. It's named Gibson. He's just not always around when you need it. Because they've been bad lately. And I'm sure the mosquitoes are going to be really bad after all this rain. All right, and I think I'll put the time card on, which on the green side, up. And this is just a piece of, like an empty time card that was cut in half. use this. It's like that round element. 
with all these rectangles and squares. Okay. I think I'll put that I hate to cover up too much of the jelly print though. that to dry a little bit. I'm going to let that dry because I want to be able to move those elements around because I'm indecisive. So I want that to dry and then I can. So let's see if we can pull back a little bit more here. have almost all of her body uncovered and not damaged. So I have to say at this point, if the bottom photograph was damaged, it would be okay because it wouldn't be the main part of the image. Just have this last part of her foot. The scrapbook paper over here, I have to be careful not to rub on it. This last bit's been real slow, but it is starting to come. I never really used Print Shop. I did use uh, a Photoshop Elements, but then I had problems with my computer just like sucking the memory. So I haven't really done that much editing. Okay. 
I've got most of the I think we got to the bottom of her foot so that is a win in my book is a transfer because the main subject is complete I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a dark photograph. So like I said, I'll just let the rest of that soak and come back to it rather than force it. It is, you have to be patient. But I figured I would have to just like scrap it and cover. I even had something cut out that I was going to put down on it that would cover it if it was damaged. So I'll use her somewhere else. Let's see if this is, yeah, this is dry enough to scoot stuff around. If I put it there, then I only think I want a couple things on it, and it'll be done. And I'll have to find a quote of some kind for it later. It was something like that, and just kind of keep it simple. So there's one idea, but I'm not sure if it doesn't cover up too much of the jelly print. And then the other possibility is to do something like this. And then put the quote down here. Yeah, that's why I didn't put Windows 10. And so far, it has not forced it on my computer. Because I knew that the Windows Movie Maker wouldn't work. And that you wouldn't even have access to all your old videos. You like this one? Okay, and then I can put the quote like down here somewhere. Like I said, I'll have to get a quote later. I don't like this on it. I think it's too modern. All right, so we'll go with that one. And then we should be able to move on to one of the others. And luckily I have mine set where it hasn't automatically done it. Hi, Juju. This is the Canadian map for all my Canadian friends. It's Montreal and Ottawa in the background on the map. It's about time to go find another old atlas. Yeah, I don't think I have auto update on mine. tell you right now it's so bad I need a new laptop 
but no sooner do you get them. These are actually stickers. Seems like no sooner that you get them and then they get some virus or some problem. And I know, Jean, you're going to say get a Mac. We had Macs when I worked at school and I just didn't ever really care for them. So I don't know how it would handle if it got Windows 10. It barely handles turning on right now. And we use our phone so much. That it's hard. This is about the only thing I do on my computer is stream and edit my videos and pay a few bills that are easy to pay. So I've had this one. I've actually had this one a long time, but it was pretty quick that it, it seemed to struggle. And actually, this is my husband's laptop that I took over. We got rid of mine. We had to. So but there's nothing like getting a new one. And it's like, whoo, love it. All that speed. And then... Uh, Bam. Like a six months to a year, you're like, wow. I need to get a hard drive, external hard drive, and store some of my stuff on an external hard drive before this one crashes. So like I said, this one just needs a quote. And I'll either put a quote up here somewhere or down here. All right, so let me set that one aside to dry. And we'll get this one. We'll peel back a little bit more of some of this paper where it's gotten saturated. If I just keep peeling it back and then adding some more water, it seems to do the trick. But I am getting some hazing in a few places which is the thing I don't like about photo transfers is it's really hard to get that white off and this pulp is just nasty Yeah, I could just leave it pulled back. And leave it to frame. Her, the white paper here. So I'm going to let that soak a little more. And we'll work on this one. This one I have a quote for. I know that I want to start with this 
jelly print going down the side. That I know. Just leave this white right here, the top photo, and just let it stop. Because I can, once it dries, all right. All right, let me get that extra water off and we'll let it dry. Just like that. Leave the um it's feathered out, but yeah, if you were going to write on it, yeah, I'm going to cover it with the decoupage later after it's dry, and then I will put um, a spray of the triple thick, and that will take care of the lumpy. I mean, it, it won't be that. Once I pull this, I'm going to pull away some of that frayed paper and feather it down. It won't be that lumpy. So, and I may try to, like I said, I may try to get some of that hazing off with some time. That may also go away with the... All right, so that was done with Americana Deco Page Photo Transfer Medium. And you have to put it on both sides, whatever you're going to put it on, and the photo, and I put too much, so I will say less is more. When it's still wet, then squeegee it, get all the wipe off so that there's none on the top, and let it sit for eight hours. So it is... <laughs> the one thing I'll notice I've noticed is that here in Texas, if I just leave the gel medium, well, at least the Mod Podge or the Deco Page, if I leave these type on and I don't put anything on top of it as like a varnish, it will get tacky. It'll get sticky in this humid weather, especially like I noticed some of my first canvases I did. Um, when I take them to art shows and they get warm in the truck, sometimes sitting in the truck, they want to stick together. When I haven't moved them and they're stacked, they want to kind of stick on the corners of the edges together. Okay. Okay, have a quote, and I'm probably going to put the quote down here. I don't want to cover him up completely. Yeah, it's just tacky because it's so humid, it never truly dries. So I've been putting, oh, that's brush cleaner. Mostly I like the triple thick. I've got the liquid and the spray, but the other one I've been using that I like is the Americana DuraClear, which I have in a matte, a gloss, and a satin. And so I like all of those fairly well, but my favorite is the Triple Thick for like if you want a really hard, glossy Oh. I found the quote for this one. I had a quote. It just had separated from the, let me trim it a little better.
It says what the heart thinks, the tongue does speak. So I think that'll finish that up and works just fine as a finished piece. Yes, I can open links. Give me just a second, Jean. We go to settings real quick. No, that's not where I did it. All right, links are on now, Jean. Oh, now the chat's working correctly too, so I don't have to have the pop-out chat right now, which is so much easier. Okay. Sometimes the dilemma is, oh, that's okay, Terry. I don't always remember to open them. I hate to cover up too much of the jelly print. I don't want that. could put the quote up here I like this old dictionary the yellowedness yellowedness I don't think that's a word but it's a little big let me see I have another dictionary Let me see. It's a little shorter. Let me see if I can get. R's for rows and get lucky enough. No. Rodent, not a good choice. I'm going to do this one. not as aged and still like this one better so maybe maybe I'll just put it on and then tear it or let it hang off Oh, I, I've never really saved very many of the empty bottles and stuff. Trying too hard not to cover up most of this. Maybe I should just do something like that and not even force the dictionary print. Maybe I should just put it on there and trim around her. 
where it will be. That's what I'll do. And I'll either like it or I won't like it. Yeah, I've thrown a lot away. I don't think I had any Eileen's. Um, I had a lot of folk art that I've had to throw away. But may, mostly I had like um, like Liquitex acrylics, like tubes, because I hoarded them and didn't want to use them. And then they would gum up and dry out. I threw a whole set of tubed watercolors away and then found out by watching YouTube later that if I just put some glycerin in them, I could have reactivated. All right, so I'm going to let that dry and then trim it. And I'll put the quote on. But I can't let that one corner have, can't go down. So I'll leave it up on that one edge. And I had, and I had um, tons of polymer clay that I could not get to do anything because it had dried up so badly. And I tried and tried and it would just crumble and I couldn't. Um, and that was kind of when I just sort of like realized to stop hoarding everything and use it or lose it. Okay, that's getting close. Take a little bit more off. It's still a little tacky. That's better. Yeah, nothing helped. This was, but I quit. Painting, quilting, everything for, gosh, about almost eight to ten years. And then I just decided that I wanted to get, I felt like it again. And so I started back. And that's when I kind of got into the more of the mixed media. And I could never get the polymer results that I wanted. Um, so I can't say that I, uh, and I got to the point where making jewelry was really hard to see to thread the beads. So I don't make jewelry much anymore. And that's predominantly what I was doing the polymer clay for. I never really got into making canes. I was really making just some big uh, more statement pieces and I was trying to make some Pandora style beads. 
I just never could really get the the colors to pop like I wanted or the gloss. Just probably not the patience in putting the coats and varnishing it. And I'm not sure that this one needs anything else. I think I'll just let the jelly print sort of speak for itself on that one. Yeah, I just... Even with my bifocals, they're never in the right place. I would probably need like to sit with one of those magnifying glass things to see it anymore. And it was just too frustrating. So I just pretty much got rid of all of that. And just kind of chose the things that I was more interested in. I don't even have a sewing machine right now. Because I decided I liked piecing. But I didn't really like. In fact, I have a king size quilt that is almost done. That is so pretty. It's all pieced. It just needs the borders. I have four squares and a couple wide borders on the side to make it. And then it needs to be quilted. Well, unless you have a long arm, there's just no way I could quilt that on my sewing machine. So someday, I'm just, I just have it put up. Someday I figure I have a good friend that has a quilt store. And they had a long arm. I'm not sure that she still has it. But I'll pay someone to finish it and quilt it. And it'll be just fine. All right, and this one, I'm going to put this piece of jelly print kind of right here. I know that. Yeah, yeah, I just figured it was taking up room and we've moved enough times it was like, okay, I can sell this in a garage sale because it is just sitting here. I am not using it. I wasn't even using it to mend clothes. And I guess really in, in reality, it was scrapbooking that got me back into art again. You know, and it was a friend who had gone to a crop and said, oh, go with me. I think you'll like it. And we went, for about two years, we went every Friday to our scrapbook store, our local scrapbook store, and loved it. And then I ran out of pictures. <laughs> And I thought, what am I doing? We don't have kids. I was like, I have four ginormous albums just busting at this, you know, seams. And so I started uh, scrapbooking layouts without photographs, just with mats and selling them. And that, that led to doing and teaching some classes. And I ended up teaching a watercolor class and kind of just got back to doing other, you know, more fine art again until I found mixed media. And then I was like, oh, hi, I found my people. It's just enough of scrapbooking and enough of fine art and crafting. It's just kind of a little bit of everything. I don't think I want to cut around her. I think I want to use her just as she is right there. And I got certified to teach art, but uh, no one's given me the opportunity to do that. And at this point, I'm not even sure if I would want to. It's 
so often a throwaway class where they stick kids that aren't interested in band or can't behave in band, so we'll send them to choir. All right, this card's going to go on here, but I'm not, I kind of want this poster and this card. Again, I think I need to let, and then I have some train tickets. So I think I'm going to let this dry just a little bit. It's not the scrapbooking the pictures. It's using the prints. Yeah, the, the art classes are the first to go on a budget. And that's why I didn't get certified to teach art in the initially because when I went to get my teaching certification, they were talking about cutting all of the music and art out of the entire school district and making it um, just like a UIL sports that parents would have to pay for after school kind of like a hobby club and so i went into math and business and science and i knew that if i was math and science i would for always have a job they didn't end up cutting the arts or the music which i was happy in the end that they didn't but then i added the certificate because here I can just take a test and add a certification if I pass it but they after teaching enough and being in a high school in a middle school I know what they do is like all the kids that are interested in band going to band and then they have these kids that are left over that they don't really know what to do with so they shove them into choir and music I mean choir and art but they don't always want to be there. They have to be somewhere, but they don't really want to be anywhere. And then as soon as they don't behave in band, they'll kick them out and kick them over to the art class or to the choir class. Because band directors, you know, often rule at the schools. But I think that what I like with the jelly print is I can like, it's almost like the quilting what I like. It's and the same with the scrapbook paper. It's the paper that I like mixing the fabrics and the prints and the colors and cha that challenge of finding the right color and the right prints that go together. So I'll just stick with my science. They all have to take it. Or my math. They all have to take it. Let me dry this just a little bit. I want to be able to move it around. Well, here, Jean, it's all about the sports. And if you're going to have a football team, you have a band. So that's about the only music that is dominant because they compete and if they don't compete it doesn't be viewed as um, yeah I'm, that's what I'm also afraid of Christy is that if I had to teach art maybe I wouldn't like it as much you know it's just like doing lab for science but it's every day so at this stage I'm not sure I want to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, football is next to God in Texas. Okay, maybe this needs to sit. I don't want to cover that up. And 
I have lost my scissors again. There they are on the floor. So I have a ticket that's got that turquoise color in it. And then I also have some railroad tickets that are miniature. But I'm not sure which one I want to use. There's one in turquoise and one in beige. It kind of depends where it sits. Maybe that needs to go. Maybe something like that. And I'm not going to use this quote. I'm going to find a different quote later. Well, I'm in a charter school now. And they don't favor art or music. But it's, it's a STEM. So it's focus is on math and science and that's what the kids are going there for so I don't really have an issue with that they do have um, a campus that focuses on fine arts over in Dallas area I think um, I know they do in Houston and we don't focus on sport we don't have a football team we have a basketball we have a volleyball we have a track, but they're kind of secondary, and sports does not rule the school at all. Uh, science fair and engineering and robotics type competitions rule it, which, I, you know, and like busting the AP test and getting in to really, you know, it's, it's, that's what they're more competitive about getting into really good colleges. So it's really kind of, um, nice. Um, at my kids age, they're not really, they just do robotics and they're introduced to some of the engineering. And the funny thing is they just picked the ninth graders this year that are going into ninth grade just picked a uh, business as an area for the high school study so we may start seeing um, some some high school courses in business and I might end up teaching business after all these years of teaching I might end up teaching accounting and business law But right now I'm perpetually stuck in the in the fifth grade. Okay. And I think I like that and I'll just print out a quote later. Maybe something about traveling. Yeah, we have um, two schools here. Gonna have a third elementary. We have a performing arts uh, with theater, music, and arts that is K to eight which has one campus 
and they're going to open a second campus and then they feed into a school that is three to eight but you have to audition all right so that's it for me i'm going to go ahead and sign off but here's what we ended up with today this one needs a quote that one's done this one is done it may need something up here maybe I don't know we'll see and then this one right here and then I'll need to let this dry and I'm gonna kind of finish it up and maybe try to see if I can brighten up the original the black of the photograph by getting a little more of that hazing off but when it's real good and dry I'm gonna give it a couple spray coats of the triple thick but it was a pretty good um, transfer I have to say but it's a lot of work it would need to be if I were going to do it again it would definitely have to be something that I couldn't have gotten on there without transferring it or that I took away and I did I want to do the translucency more of the translucent the kind that almost like the tape transfer without the slick so I appreciate all of you too Jamie stay dry Jamie and safe same CB and I will see all of you at Jen's tonight later if she streams thanks for watching let me stop the recording and save it